friends welcome back to another video tutorial today i am going to share with you an interesting topic on fullerens this will give you a very basic information about the fullerens so through this video these are the contents i am going to share with you as an uh, introduction the properties of fullerens how are fullerens made and finally applications of fullerens so let's start basically fullerens are closed hollow cages which consisting of carbon atoms which are interconnected in pentagonal and hexagonal grids fullerens were discovered experimentally at the very first time by group of scientists from rice university in the year of 1985 so this is a picture and uh, of fullerens here we can see the car each carbon atom on the case surface which is bound to the three neighbor carbons therefore it is a sp2 hybridized structure so the pentagonal and hexagonal ring we can clearly visible from this picture buckminster fullerens cables are the most common fullerens which contain spherical uh, cages of uh, 60 carbon atoms this buckyballs also called as c60 similarly other common uh, common clusters of uh, c clusters are c70 c72 c74 like that that depend upon how many number of carbon atom which is present in the cages so we already told the fullerens contain carbon atom which are arranged in a combination of 12 pentagonal ring and n hexagonal rings so we can write the chemical formula of the fullerens structures like c20 plus 2n where n is the uh, hexagonal ring number of hexagonal rings which is present in the fullerens about the size the fullerens cages are about 7 to 15 angstrom in diameter and which are one carbon atom thick okay these are the basics about the uh, structure of the fullerens next is properties of fullerens have unique structure so that these fullerens have unique properties so one such important property is This fullerens structure quite stable in both chemical and physical point of view. So, if you want to break these bonds, we require temperature of around thousand degree Celsius. And another one important property is which uh, the fullerens have highest tensile tensile strengths among uh, other non tooling structure or elements. and which have highest packing density also so these are the uh, some of the important properties of the fullerens structure next we will discuss how we can make the structure similar uh, to carbon nano tubes these fullerens also we can um, uh, synthesized from the uh, laser ablation method and um, so here this ndr laser is used to evaporate the carbon which is uh, present in the two uh, electrode so um, and the carbon plasma is uh, gener uh, generated and which uh, the evaporated carbon plasma then cooled by steam of uh, stream of helium helium uh and finally uh, at the integ integration cup this uh, uh, fullerens structure were formed so this is about the uh, synthesis of this uh, fullerens next uh, we will discuss uh, we have next is uh, applications of the fullerens so due to the uh, unique properties and the unique structure um, the fullerens are used in uh, different
different field in medical field and uh, energy application and different application these uh, fulgurants are used uh, one such is uh, such uh, application is we can use this fulgurants as a uh, antioxidant that is uh, fulgurants act as a radical sponge sponge scavenging around 20 free radical per molecule of fulgurants this action is mainly due to the electron deficiency nature of the fullerens which take up from uh, take up from the electron and scavenge the radical so this molecule uh, can act as a effective cytoprotector against the uh, ultraviolet a irradiation so um, that uh, that can bind the ros and prevent damage uh, damage uh, from the uh, to the cell so uh, uh, this is one of the application of the fullerene next is due to the uh, uh, unique properties uh, because uh, this um, fullerene have uh, shows good biocompatibility greater select greater selectivity and which can retain the biological activity also so because of this property this fullerens uh, is used widely used in the drug delivery applications and uh, similarly the gene delivery application also another application and is uh, these fullerens can be used in photodynamic therapy basically photodynamic therapy is the form of therapy uh, by which use um, non toxic light sensitive compounds uh, which when exposed to light it become toxic in nature so that it can kill the uh, mutated cells or unwanted cells uh, uh, or unwanted uh, material uh, i mean sorry unwanted cells in the body so uh, fullerens get excited upon irradiation and um, it will uh, it they uh, it give off energy uh, by return to the ground state uh, that spread the oxygen present to generate single oxygen uh, which can be cytotoxic in nature so like this it can act as a thermodynamic uh, i mean uh, agent in the pdt another application is uh, this fulgurens can be used in the solar cell application because of the high electron affinity and ability to transfer uh, the electron so which make the fulgurens as an excellent acceptor in the solar cell application and another one application of uh, fulgurens is uh, we can use this fulgurens as a hardening agent uh, basically fullerens are small size and high reactivity that is due to the sp2 hybridization of the carbon so because of these properties uh, the fullerens can be used as a strengthening material on the metal matrices so these are the um, few applications of the uh, fullerens um, that's it okay thank you much i hope you may gain some information about what are full events um what are the basic uh, properties and uh, how we can synthesize the full events and and few application also so if you like this video please share with your friends and contacts and please don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel thank you